What's up, Knights? Xantos here with week eight of the Rift. And uh, in this week's video, we're going to be cutting out some of the bosses that we did not fight at max threat level. Uh, we're only going to be featuring uh, max threat level in this video, except for uh, the one goblin boss. Uh, I believe we fought him just short of max threat. Um, but we're also going to be f featuring uh, the first round of all of the fights in the Rift, because um, the first round before you get into the boss is normally just as important as uh, the second. You have to make sure that you're going into that second round with a good amount of health and armor, and preferably with your rage full and both of your powers accessible as well. So you can see here that we have Catalyst active, so we're just getting that poison all across the field as soon as possible. Stacking it up, dealing a ton of damage, making sure that all of these enemies are definitely going to fall this next round. I believe it ticks for almost 10k, yeah, 9,936 damage for the poison tick when it's stacked. We're into the uh, Realm 2 floor boss. I like stunning this guy because he hits way, way too hard. Still using Millicent in the Rift. If it works and it's not broken, why try to fix it? This boss is also susceptible to poison, so uh, having that poison ticking against him with the strong ticks is always super handy. Double stack now. A 13k tick on the boss there with a double stack poison. You can see the archers almost took me out there. Managed to snag a stun. Full rage yet again. Throw on an extra stack. Why not? And just for safe measures, we protect up against this guy. 19k tick there with a uh, triple stack. That's Catalyst active. So we got those uh, that 200% boost to uh, any status ailments. Taking a peek at the rewards here. Some mega speed cores. Shards for our home girl. Bunch of Orpiment, which I'm not really using too, too much right now. Very nice legendary Deadly Strike charm. Next up, we are fighting Gorbash. Bringing Ericsson along with us so that we can freeze the enemy. As well as Vordry for the burn along with a big power shot in the back pocket if we need it. Decided to uh, tank it out against these guys. None of them managed to snag a crit, so uh, my health stayed pretty beefy. Big Vordry splash, trying to take out as much as I can. For uh, that second attack there, my uh, Mythbreaker has stun on ultimate attack, and I know that these outlaw enemies are very susceptible to stun, so... We went with that route. You can see my health isn't too good right now, but my armor is nice and high, and that's what matters. Starting things off with a burn with Vordry. Freezing the enemies on the field. You can see Gorbash actually avoids the freeze there. So right, we had a power potion. We managed to get him on the second.
analyzing to see if I should uh, use a protect potion here. I decided to see how hard he could hit. Wasn't too, too bad. Both those guys had their uh, power as well, so... I avoided damage from them as well. We went with the uh, Vordry Splash there because we knew we had to take out that back row enemy that could stun us. Another stack of burn. We used our first Protect Potion there because Gorbash was coming with a big avalanche. With three swipes from the Mythbreaker, managed to take down a Max Threat Gorbash. Big 600 Rift experience there. Nice juicy 13 rewards. Snag some shards for Logan. Orpment. Bunch of cores and a bunch of blue charms. Uh, now I featured this one. We weren't at max threat for it. We were only going to be getting uh, 11 rewards, but um, he had a pretty nice move. Uh, a pretty nice, pretty nice loot pool. Wow, that's a tongue twister there. But uh, yeah, because of his nice loot pool, I decided to uh, feature him in this one as well. Showing that first round, showing the pre prep and all that. Millicent, hands down, my favorite hero in the Rift. It's crazy. Never used to use her too much. Now that we're in the Rift, probably one of my favorite heroes. Opted to uh, save my rage there. Probably should have used it in all honesty. Again, that stun charm coming in clutch with the Mythbreaker. Being able to take away to, uh, a turn from these enemies in the Rift is, is just absolutely clutch. Never used to be a big fan of stun charms or freeze charms. And now, look at me go with uh, freeze heroes and stun charms. They're very, very useful in the Rift. Getting that second stack of poison. Oh, uh, actually going with the freeze. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, making sure that, uh, yeah, we didn't want this guy hitting us. He still hits powerful, even uh, not at max threat. Still exercising the, the same methods that we would if it was at max threat. Keeping the enemies in place. Finish them off here with the Mythbreaker. Yeah, managed to snag a nice Acid Chain Charm there. Pretty happy about that. I actually popped that into my uh, my mythic axe. Um, planning on trying to make some sort of uh, axe that can work as a acid damage dealer. And then once I do eventually get alder, hopefully uh, I can inflict acid with that in arena battles. And then just finish knights with a big 33k hit to health. Alright, we were into uh, realm 7 here can see I'm using potions right off the bat because uh, 
this gigantic flock of undead enemies is extremely powerful. You can see I'm wary of the hit coming. Building rage with those punches. Managed to take them all out fairly quickly. My health is still in a decent position as well. Going into the next round with full rage. Both powers. Focus as well. Erickson is just amazing against this boss. Uh, freezing the undead enemies in place is just absolutely clutch. You can see, I, I'm pretty sure this boss uh, doesn't even get one attack off on me i'm i'm pretty sure i i managed to freeze her in place every single time here so she was frozen on the first turn frozen on the second turn there managed to land another freeze here and then get the berm with vordry which uh she's also weak against you can see a nice 8900 tick Three punches, freeze in place, big tick, and then with four swipes of the Mythbreaker, it's also attuned to uh, an undead Mythbreaker right now, so uh, that's how it's doing those big 12k damage hits on the chain attack. You can, uh, you can see also in my rewards here. Get some pretty nice rewards. 10 shards for gun. Very nice. A unique regen play button charm. A uh, legendary stun charm. And another legendary stun charm. So uh, thank you so much, guys. Always appreciate everyone tuning in. It's uh, really fun doing these riff videos. I uh, really appreciate all of the support the community always gives. As always, guys, stay grinding.